Welcome to day 17, I'm sorry, day 16 of 21 Days of No Complaints while practicing intentional gratitude. Welcome to the day of the Good Tower. Greetings and welcome to Bloom From Within Love. I go by Bloomy and welcome to day 16 of 21 days of no complaints while practicing intentional gratitude. And today is a tarot message that came through for you all that have been following this, correlating with so many things. So the before I get into the actual read and the cards that you see before you is connected to your reading, that the cards that came out. But before I get into that, I want to talk about the the moon phase of the day. So the moon phase of the day is in waning gibbous. Okay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but it, it's in waning gibbous and it's in Capricorn, oddly enough. So I felt like it was synchronicity and totally fitting um, with the card that was at the bottom of the deck for you guys, which was the devil. Okay. Um, which is Capricorn. It's a major arcana energy. Okay. So Waning gibbous is the time and phase of the moon where we are to, you know, everything that we've invested in, all of the hard work, everything that we've been putting into, that's the time when the waning gibbous phase comes to stop and reflect about that accomplishment or what's been manifested, reflect on it in gratitude. So I really thought it was fitting since we're on this uh, 21 days of no complaints while practicing gratitude to talk about the need for us today to take a moment of the day somewhere, somehow to look at what we have created or manifested. And since it's in Capricorn in the earth, okay, whatever that means for you, whether it is to do with money, things, anything with the physicality, what we have created and manifested right now to, since today is day 17 i'm sorry day 16 16 in tarot the major arcana is the tower so i know i'm merging in a lot of concepts here but it's really about the good tower i know we hear tower and everybody is like oh my gosh but it's all relative it's all perspective at the end of the day so with practicing gratitude, we're going to be focusing on the good towers, the good towers that have manifested in our lives up to this point, or that may be manifesting in our lives, even as I'm speaking to you now. But a tower is a sudden revelation, a sudden in intervention, something happening that was not foreseen, okay, that comes in, shakes up the foundation, brings things down usually, but it's with the intention of something being created from a healthy foundation, okay? So bring all that to your mind today, okay? At some point, the card that came out for you all was the Queen of Wands. I asked the Light Team, Source, Gaia, for the collective with all of those intentions in mind, practicing the gratitude, right? observing and honoring the phase of the moon with the waning gibbous, right? As well as day 16, realizing and connecting with the energy of a tower where towers may have happened up into this point, to this phase, or maybe happening today. I asked, where can we practice gratitude at? In what area, right, as relates to the tarot. And what came out for you guys was the Queen of Wands. And so what that told me, the messages that's coming out, the Queen of Wands is a fire element, a fire energy. If she is in her right frequency and vibration and in alignment, the Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very passionate, very vibrant, very confident, okay, um, in the right ways. And so... What that's telling me is that we all have room today to sit back and observe and pay gratitude for where we've built confidence in something in the 3D. Capricorn being, you know, the bottom of the deck with the devil, 
meaning we've mastered something, as well as the waning gibbous moon, okay? So within this last moon phase cycle of 28 days, we've mastered and manifested, even if it was suddenly with the tower energy, okay? Even if it came out of nowhere, and even if it came, you know what I'm saying? I'm referencing it as a good tower because... If something destructive brought you to the Queen of Wands, then it is a good tower. That's why I said it's all relative. It's perspective. So in the last 28 days up to this moment, if there was a tower, since we are honoring and observing that with day 16, the gratitude is for this tower. It may have been uncomfortable. It may have broken your heart. It may have hurt. It may have, you know, caused an uproar. And there may still be residues of that because some of you may still be sitting in it. Some of you, you know what I'm saying, may still see the betrayals. You may still see the lies, the cheats, the deceits, the gossip. You may feel it if you're energetically intelligent. But, but... The good thing is that the the your guidance team, something was produced is what I want to tell you guys in a good way. You got your confidence back. You mastered something. You grounded in your confidence. You created something, okay? And it's, since it's a general reading, it's going to be different for all of you, okay? It could have been confidence about your looks. Some of you may glow up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you straight up glow up and you feel good in your skin. And, and that came from a tower. That came from realizing that you have to get that from within yourself. You can't rely on external things and people because they are fickle and things are based on their belief systems, okay? And so um, you guys have managed to master that with that devil card being at the bottom. The devil card is not always bad. The devil card is just... You know, like I said, it represents Capricorn and all things in the 3D. So you guys have built up some kind of uh, confidence regarding your ability to manifest, your ability and, and, and confidence with being on the earth, your right to be here, your right to have a good life on the earth, or you know what I'm saying, to create things that make you happy, right? Many messages for many different, di I mean, for different, ah, <laughs> retrograde, uh, <laughs> For many of you. So I'm excited. I can feel this energy as I'm talking. You guys know that I mentioned before I'm, I channel. So sometimes I feel the energy. I'm clairsentient. And so people that are clairsentient have a tendency to be feelers. So whatever energy is being channeled, they feel all those sensations and vibrations, right? So when it's hype, I can feel the hype. <laughs> When it's low, I can feel that as well. So uh, there's an excitement and a celebratory energy that you guys could sit in today. Hey, I mastered something. I created something. Hey, right? The good tower. And you can even start referencing an event that happened that maybe you keep telling a story about it. You may even, you know, set an intention and go, okay. I'm not denying the story of what really took place, but I will rewrite it. I determine and I give it new meaning. So many of you may even go there and say, I call it the good tower. That person betrayed me. That person lied to me. This person misused me. This person took advantage of me. This person rejected me. This person abandoned me. This person, you know what I'm saying, didn't see my worth and value or this, this happened and that happened and, and on and on and on. But I view it as the good tower. I view it as something that served me. I view it as something that perpetuated my glow up. I view it as something that perpetuated my freaking success. I view it as something that drew me into my own. I view it as something that caused me to stop looking external for my answers, for my bliss, for my truth, for my clarity, and even for my ultimate happiness. So I now call it the good tower. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this message encouraged you, motivated you, and just give you some shift in perspective, but also give you some space to be grateful for the smallest things that you may have mastered or things that suddenly came into your life that turned out to actually be a good tower, a blessing, because now you're the queen of wands, which is divine feminine. One of the divine feminine aspects, you can be a man and be the queen of wands. It's just the feminine aspect of that court, okay? The queen of wands, baby. Love it. I sent you guys love and light. Everything is energy. Balance is key. Live for yourself. Be good for yourself. Be true to yourself. Take care of yourself. Honor yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are with yourself. I'll talk to you guys next time. Smooches. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that this reading motivated you and resonated with you. If you're interested in entering a raffle to win, uh, possibly win a free personal reading with me, please subscribe and state your interest, you guys. Stay encouraged. Love and light. Namaste.